Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain how to implement rel prev next tags. They're the ones to tell Google about paginated sequence of pages on your site. For example, if you have a hundred products in one category and you want to show only 10 per page, you end up having to create 10 pages of products to show them all. This is really quite common on e-commerce sites. So, why do I need rel prev next tags? I thought you'd never ask. The basic reason is when you have a paginated group of pages, the individual pages might be seen as poor quality pages by Google. For example, if you have 10 pages of different types of snowshoes that you're selling, from a search engine perspective, they all kind of look the same. You might have the same title tag on all 10 pages. The product descriptions are all pretty similar too. As a result, they might be seen as poor quality, near duplicates of each other. Using the rel prev and rel next tags helps solve that problem. Better still, the pages get treated by Google as a single entity, i.e. links to any of the pages in the sequence provide benefit to the ranking of the entire sequence for related queries. This is probably true for more subtle ranking signals, such as user engagement with the pages as well. So, how do the pages basically get set up? It's pretty simple, actually. If I'm on page one of a sequence of 10 pages, I use a rel next tag to tell Google which page is the next in that sequence of pages. Then on pages two through nine of the sequence of pages, I use a rel prev tag to point to the prior page and a rel next tag to point to the next page. The example code you're looking at now is for page five. Finally, on page 10 of our 10 page sequence, I only need a rel prev tag pointing back to page 9, as I'm showing here. Now, let's discuss how to implement rel prev next tags in a nutshell. Step 1. Identify the pages on which you want to place a rel prev and or rel next tags. Step 2. On page 1 of the sequence, place a rel next tag pointing to page 2. Step 3. On the last page of the sequence, place a rel prev tag pointing to the prior page. And in step four, on all of the other pages, place rel prev tags pointing to the prior page and a rel next tag pointing to the next page. And finally, in step five, update the source page on your live website. But wait, as always, there's more. Google treats these tags as a suggestion, not a directive. That means they may see the tags on your pages, but ignore them. In general, they will only do this if you implement them incorrectly. For example, one common mistake people make is that they properly put rel prev and rel next tags on pages, but also include rel canonical tags on the same pages. These two tags conflict with one another and should not be on the same page as each other. Thank you.